and welcome back to Catharsis Inc. So today I have a huge Dollar Tree haul for you guys. This is gonna be everything not holiday related. So we'll have decor items, uh, craft and office supplies, toys and all kinds of things. So let me go ahead and dive right in. It's over a hundred dollars worth. So let's get to hauling. I should wear a do rag. Right? Yeah. So the first item I found was this weather strip seal and this was in the hardware section. I have my front door. I can actually see to the outside underneath. So that's why I picked up some of this and it shows you can also use it on your windows as well. So for only a dollar, this is a pretty good deal. There is, let's see, it's three sixteenths in thickness and it's, 17 foot long. So yeah, that's a great deal. And then in the pet section, I found these adorable scarves. These just go around their neck and I thought these would be so cute for my puppies. They'll be set and ready for winter. Then I found some summer stickers actually. And these, they're kind of, well, they're not puffy but they're kind of 3D, like the sticker stands out on the back. But I got it specifically for the airplane so I can document my New Orleans trip in my journal. And then I found this cute little rainbow bow. I thought it was so cute. It's, it's one of those ones that it's a clip. It's a cloth clip. And then also in the hardware section, I found this Bostic Smart Adhesives Fine and Wide Clear Glue. I've never seen this at Dollar Tree before, so I thought I'd give it a try. And you can see down here it says Detailed Applicator or Spreader Applicator. Then in the party section, I found this Trifle Container. I thought I could put candy in here or craft supplies in here. I thought that was, you know, that would be a cute way to display one of those things. I think it also looked cute if you put some uh, cupcakes or something in there as well. And then I had to pick up some white duct tape. Um, 
my little dog, Sylvia, keeps getting through the baby gate. So I thought maybe I could rig something up with this white duct tape so she can't get downstairs. And then I found these laser cut icons. So I got these beautiful leaves for fall. And then I found these beautiful stars. I thought that I could use those for Yule. Then I also picked up some fall colored glitter. So it's your golds and oranges and browns. Thought those were really pretty. And then I also found some new uh, wood shapes in the craft section. So they came out with this and this one. So I thought those were really cool. As soon as I saw this one, it reminded me of a potion bottle. So I might do a DIY with this one. This one would look good if you do like as a platform. So if you do something uh, like my grandfather, he does woodwork. So he uses these platforms and then um, builds his character on top of the platform. Thought that would be a good idea. Or if for Christmas you wanted to do say a deer head or something like that, you could take um, one of the deer head ornaments from Dollar Tree and just glue it onto this after you paint it. And that would look really nice as well. And then in the book section, I actually found a craft book by Craft Tree, and it says notebook covers and more. I thought that was really cool and would um, work out good for it when I want to make my own journals or my own book of shadows. They have some pretty ones in here. So I thought that was really neat. There's some more on the back. So cool. I love when they come out with uh, craft books in the book section. That's so neat. And then I found some more wall decals, some gold butterflies. I thought these would be cute in a junk journal. These would also be pretty, of course, on the wall or on a mirror. And then I found this cute little cat toy. It's a hot sauce and there's catnip inside. So it says catnip in silver wine filled. <laughs> so I thought that was cute. So I picked that up for Mo. And oh, I also found another um, one of those, what are they? Mush Oh, uh, marsh, no, not marshmallow, marshmallows or, um, you know, Dollar Tree's version of that. Uh, last time I had found the penguin and now I found the unicorn. I'm still in search of the panda. Haven't found that yet. This was actually the only one of these in the store. So I got lucky with this one. And then I picked up some Thanksgiving cards. And if you didn't see my update video, I'm actually going to be sending out Thanksgiving cards to anyone interested. If you're interested, I will leave my email in the description down below. Just send me your name and your address and I'll send you out a Thanksgiving card. But these are so cute. I just had to get these. They're woodland themed, absolutely adorable. Here's one with a fox and a porcupine with a little birdie. These are just deer. I had to pick these up. Here's another one with a squirrel. I love these woodland themed ones. So cute. And then here's another one with a squirrel and a bird. And then I picked up some more hot chocolate for the kids. The kids love this hot chocolate with the marshmallows in, so I'm just restocking on that. Then I found this 10 pack of Papermate pens, and these are red pens. So that is a great deal for only a dollar and you get 10 pens. 
awesome deal. I got those for editing my novel. As um, some of you may know, it's NaNoWriMo, so it's National Novel Writing Month. So I've been writing, uh, working on uh, my novel this month. And then I found these rainbow earbuds. I thought those were so cute. I'm constantly losing my earbuds, so I picked up another pair of those. I also found these Tootsie Roll Mini Bites. I love these. Dollar Tree comes in and out with these, so sometimes they don't have them. Um, mine hasn't had them for a while. This is the first time I've found them, and I'd say a couple months now. And then I found some baking cups. So I got the gold and the red just in time for the holiday season. And these are nice because it comes with 50 in there for only a dollar, of course. And then, oh, here's another great deal. I found a pack of three lighters for only a dollar as well. That is a great deal because at Walmart, they can get pretty expensive for only one. So that was a restock. Oh, and then I found this beautiful barrette. Let me take it out of the plastic here so you can see it. But it's got these gemstones on it. I just thought that was so pretty. And it's gold tone. Thought that would be pretty with like an emerald green dress for the holidays. So pretty, love that. And then I picked up another book. This one is a memoir and it says, The Long Accomplishment, A Memoir of Hope and Struggle and Matrimony by Rick Moody. And then I found some toys. So um, a stove with some pots and utensils up here. And there's two different colors. So I got a red and a yellow. Because if you can tell, they come with different um, pots. So you got your, your two-handled pot here and then your one-handled pot here. And I don't know about you, but back in the day, I used to love going to Dollar Tree for, for toys. My mom would take me. And obviously the quality has improved since the 90s. So don't hesitate to, you know, pick some of these up for your grandchildren or your kids because because the quality is a lot better than what it used to be. And especially if you donate um, toys during the holidays, these make great gifts for donations as well. Then I found this two pack of little tote bags with Baby Yoda on it. These are absolutely adorable. I thought about um, using these for gift bags for Yule for my son. He loves Baby Yoda. So you can put the gift in, of course, and then just put some tissue paper out of it and maybe a Christmas bow on there. But those are so cute. And then I found some new wall decor. This one is my absolute favorite. The trees, I love that. It's a like snowy forest theme, so pretty. And then we have like a swamp land area scene. And then a field with a house. And I thought about switching these out for the different seasons. I thought that would be pretty because then I also have a beach theme here. So pretty, I love those. Okay, something else from the hardware section. I got some foam mounting tape and this I use not only for my journals, but anytime that I need to adhere something um, to the wall or something like that, uh, let's see. What did I recently use this for? I think it was for a permanent hook or something like that. I can't remember, but yeah, 
I, I love this stuff and this is permanent so don't stick it to your wall unless you're you know planning on having it stay there oh it was for a shelf that was that's what it was for a shelf and my shelf is still going strong so and then a while back I had picked up some glitter washi tape uh, it was blue and now they have the purple thought that was so pretty so I picked some of that up and then I also picked up one, I think it says smile. Oh, smile today. That's what it says with rainbows. Thought that was so cute. Then I picked up a manicure set and this is just when I travel. Cause I found myself needing a pair of clippers while I was down in New Orleans and of course I didn't have any. I had a hangnail and wanted to clip it but didn't have any clippers. And then I found these really cute cable protectors. So this one is a bear. Thought he was so cute. And then this one is a raccoon. And they had two other ones. I can't remember what they were, but they were cute as well. It kind of reminded me of like a woodland theme for like fall. And then I found this bubble wrap pop sheets. I thought this was so cool. If you know anybody that likes to pop bubbles in a shipping container or something like that, this would be a great gag gift to get them. It comes with uh, 12 sheets. And it says stress sheets, bubble wrap pop sheets. <laughs> I thought that was so fun. That's so cool. And then I found some socks. So they're fuzzy socks. This one has a raccoon. And then this one has a cute little fox. And then I found some lip oil and this says it's infused with green tea. So I thought I'd give that a try. And then in the pet section, I got a, another scooper. This is uh, what I use to scoop out the dog food and the cat food. Um, normally, uh, we had been using a cup and the cup broke, so I figured I'd pick one of these up so we don't have to, you know, damage another one of our cups. And then they have these cute new, um, what are they calling this? A doggy treat puzzle. I thought these were so cute. So you put the treats in there and then the dog tries to get them out. Now online, I seen that these come in different shapes but this is the only one that I've seen so far, but I thought that was so cool for only a dollar. That's so neat. Oh, and here's another wooden shape I found. This one's in the shape of a house. So these would look cute if you wanted to do a little um, fairy house or gnome house or something like that. I thought that would be cute as well. And then I found another cat toy in the shape of a, a banana. I thought that was cute. And it says it's 100% catnip filled. So I thought that was cute. And then I got another book called The Other Sister by Sarah Zettel. And then I found this really pretty, um, what would you call this? Some sort of jar, but I thought it would be pretty uh, for a moon moon water jar. So I picked that up for my witchcraft. And then I got another piece, one of these pieces of wallpaper to use as a background for when I record. This is just brick colored. And then I found another wall decor. This one's more folly. It's got the gold and the orange trees. And this is like a, a river. I thought that was so pretty. And then, oh, here's another toy. They have these really cute bathtubs. I thought they were so cute. So you can put water in there. It comes with a rubber ducky and a bar of soap with the little shower head. 
I was wondering if it like actually pumps out or something. No, maybe not, but still cute. Love that. And then this was the only one of these that I found, but I thought that was pretty cool. It's a digital LED watch. So they're selling watches now at Dollar Tree. Like, get out of here. It says, okay, it says try me. Oh, cool, look at that. That is so neat. Obviously I need to set it up, but yeah, it gives the date, the time, and it's digital. But I thought the kids would love these. These would make a great stocking stuffer. Okay, then I found some more toys. This one's a little cutting board with a tomato and some corn. And they had different color cutting boards with different, um, some with uh, fruit and different vegetables too. So be on the lookout for those because you can get different ones of these. And then I found this cute little TY. It's so cute, it's a little nerd. It says, let me see what his name is. His name is Dork. <laughs> My birthday is September 26th. Oh, he's so cute. I just love him so much. I'm going to put him on my desk. And then I got this little light bulb terranium. I thought this was so cool. Um, I'm, I'm think I'm going to put a little succulent in there. I thought that would be pretty and I could hang that up then. I might put it above my desk. Oh, I just thought though, with winter coming up, you could do like a, a little winter scene in there. Do like the little trees from the Dollar Tree with some faux snow. That would be so cute. I might do that for a DIY and show you guys. Oh, here's another one of those um, cable protectors. This one's a squirrel. That's cute, love that. And then they just came out with their Zodiac books for this year. I believe they did the same thing last year. So I'm a Taurus, so I pick one of those up. And then I found these gloves and they're texting gloves. So I thought these were cool. I got the black and white and these are for the kids. And then I got green and black. And see on the, the thumb and the pointer finger, they have this little material that you can still use your cell phone with. And then I found some of this fall decorative mesh. I'm wondering if this was 50% off, probably not because fall items are still off or still out, I mean. So yeah, I picked some of this up for next year. Oh, and here's a little taco that went with that hot sauce for the cat. I thought these were just so cute, love those. And then, oh, here's another pair of socks. So these ones are porcupines, so cute, love those. And then I found some new markers in the office supply section. So we have a six pack of Scented, a six pack of Flowers. And I'm wondering if these are stamps or if, what are they? Oh yeah, it's a stamp. So that's cute, love that. These would be great for crafting. And then we have line. So it makes those different lines here. Let's see. See if it'll show up on my, oh yeah. Cool. And then, oh, these are just called stamp. So you have the different stamps in each. Let's see. Oh, this is a smiley face. Cute. Oh, you can't see it. Now it'll be upside down. Hold on. There we go. That's so cute. So I guess you have a smiley face, a heart, a butterfly, a star, a paw print, and a human footprint. 
That is really cute. Okay, then I found some new stickers. So these are the rainbow corn stickers. These are so cute. Absolutely love these. These remind me of like a modern day Lisa Frank. I used to love Lisa Frank. Well, I still do. Love that. So cute. And then I found some more makeup remover claws and they're coming out with different shapes and colors. So I picked up the rectangle uh, mint green with white and then the circle uh, ones with yellow and white polka dots. And then I also picked up a masher. I actually don't have one of these and I was making something last year and needed one. So I remembered and picked one up and they had these plastic ones and then they also had metal ones as well. Oh, I did buy the fourth cable protector. Okay, so it's a porcupine. So we had a bear, a raccoon, a squirrel and a porcupine. So cute. I wasn't sure if I got all four or not, but I guess I did. Then I picked up this cushion brush. They have really nice brushes at Dollar Tree. You know, it's, it's really heavy duty. This, you know, is really sturdy. It won't pull out like some of them do. So I picked one of those up. For some reason, I'm always uh, misplacing my brushes as well. I misplace a lot of stuff, apparently. <laughs> And then in the teacher section, I found this inflatable globe. Thought that was so cool. And these I thought would be cool to hang from the ceiling. I might do that in my office. But yeah, if you homeschool or something like that, that would be a good idea for when you're learning about the different countries and stuff like that as well. And then in the crafting section, I was so excited to find these adhesive mirrors. These are so cool. I love these. So I picked up a few packs of these because you could do all kinds of things with these. And they're just little squares. So you could take them apart, use them as strips, you know, all kinds of stuff. So I picked up several of those. And then I found another decal. This one says Adventure Awaits and it's got the deer antlers. I thought that was so cute. I'm gonna be using that for journaling as well. Then I found this really pretty home sign. It'll go with my black aesthetic in my living room. And you could definitely uh, DIY this for um, Christmas as well. If you wanted to, you know, add a little Christmas bow or something like that, I think that would be really pretty. Or do some Christmas lights around the outside of this. That would be pretty as well. Then I found some more LED pillar candles. These ones are just plain. They don't have that little um, pearl embellishment on it like the other ones did. But let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay. And then in the floral section, I found this really pretty green hanging jar. I thought that would be pretty to put a candle in or even a hanging plant, that would be cute as well. And that was the only one that I had found. So I was wondering if they had different colors of those. If you know, let me know in the comments down below. But then in the cleaning section, I found this mop and broom holder. I thought this would be good for my pantry door. And then I can just hang them on the door to uh, save room within the pantry thought that was a cute idea and then it comes with this little hook you can hang your duster on or your apron so cute especially you know it's only a dollar that's a great deal and then let's see oh I found some more word searches and these are so pretty look at the designs on these and they have them um, with crosswords and sudoku as well 
So these would make great stocking stuffers for those who you know likes these. And these ones actually have um, pages in it where you could color as well. So I thought that was cute. And then I found a paper doll. I was so excited to find these. I used to play with those when I was little, but it says it comes with one paper doll, two stands, and two outfits and accessories. This was the only one that I found though, so I was a little bummed. I keep looking out for more, but haven't found any yet. But this girl is a tennis player, and these would be cute to DIY with as well. DIY with or put into your journal. Oh my gosh. And then I, I wish I would have found these before I went on my trip but because they are just so cute. I found travel tags. So I have a Frenchie, a French bulldog. And this one is so cute. It says Frenchie fries. <laughs> I love that so much. But yeah, you just put your, your name and information on it and put it on your luggage. It is so cute. And then they had a flower with a bee. I absolutely love these. So I got them because I'll be traveling again next year. So I'll need them then. And then I was super excited to find some more fidget toys. These are super great for my kids. My kids love them. So they have a two popper fidget toy. So it only has two of those poppers on it. Then they have a strand of poppers that you can wear as a bracelet. And then they have this little sensory stretchy pal. So it's kind of like a caterpillar. These are so cool. The kids are gonna love those. Those would make great stocking stuffers as well. And then I was super excited to find that the toy section now has Pixar little characters, and I love Wally and Eve, so I picked those up. Oh my gosh, they are so adorable. I actually collect um, Wally figures, so these will be perfect for my collection. Love that movie, and I love Pixar. And then I got uh, the dogs a bacon flavored filled bone. He loves these and devours them within like 30 seconds. It's just, they look and feel hard, but it's actually soft. Like he can chew through it pretty fast. Oh, and then I got another Zodiac book, a Gemini one. This one's for my sister. I thought I'd send this to her in her Christmas uh, care package. I thought she'd like that. Then I got another book. This one's called Woman 99 by Greer Mac McAllister. I think it is. Then I found a shadow box and I'm actually going to be using this as a DIY for um, a fall DIY that's coming out soon. Hopefully I'll be able to get it done this weekend, fingers crossed, but I'll show you guys um, that then. And then I picked up this beautiful gold tray. I'm going to be using this. Um, probably as a uh, Yule decor. I think I might use it as um, a tray for the back of the toilet so I could put decor on top of that. Or of course you can definitely use it on your dining room table, your coffee table. Um, you can set it up with little figures, candles, potpourri, you know, all kinds of things. You can DIY it, turn it into a sign with some poster letters or your Cricut, that would be cute as well. And then I got some chargers to match that. So for my dining room table, I'm gonna be using these for Thanksgiving. I bought um, some cute little Fox plates at TJ Maxx. Um, I guess they came out during the, the summer when all the Halloween stuff came out. So I'm going to be putting the charger down and then putting the fox plate on top of that. I thought that would look really cute. And then last but not least, actually, there's three things. So before I say that, so I got two of the fall colored baskets. 
So I got a really pretty, what would that be? It's, it's not really burgundy. It's like a reddish color and then orange. I thought I'd use these in my craft room so I could separate per season with stickers and stuff. So the orange would be for um, Halloween or fall and or fall. And then this one would be for either fall or Yule. And they're good size as well. So that'll be nice. And then the last thing I found was this cute little bottle. It says leaves are falling, autumn is calling. Thought that was so cute. And I just randomly found it on one of those um, tall skinny shelves near the cash register. But you could take the cork off and DIY with this, fill it with um, faux acorns or leaves or, you know, all kinds of stuff, glitter, beads. But that is so cute. Absolutely love that. But thank you for hanging in there for this huge haul video. If you're still here, leave me a leaf emoji. It can be, you know, the maple leaf or the floating leaves, whichever you'd like. But leave that so I know that you stayed to the end here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely give it a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.